guys, so this is going to be, I'm sure this will be a VEDA video, today um, would be the 26th, so VEDA day 26th, um, but I'm not sure if it's going to be for that day or not, um, I apologize for my hair, but yeah, so um, I am going to do an update video on the VCF. Um, I don't got the package with me right now because um, we moved <laughs> since then. And um, yeah, so I get a lot of comments on that video and um, a lot of people are kind of confused, you know, as if, you know, they want to know did it work or, or what. So I'm just going to update on, um, on, you know, <laughs> I guess how I liked using it and the rundown of what I think of it. And, um, it's not going to be very helpful, though, because, what the hell, uh, anyways, yeah, so, sorry, I apologize for my hair, I know this really doesn't matter, but my hair is just bothering me, it's the end of the night, and I wish I could do these videos, like, when I look decent, and, um, I know I don't look, like, that bad, but I look pretty bad, so I apologize, um, but anyway, so yeah, I made that video pretty much, I think, um, actually getting wanting advice from other people that have used the product um but i did land up using it i think I, I haven't watched that video back in a while but i did use it and um so basically i believe only used it once um because i was late on my period um and i was freaking out so um i you know, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Um, I was late on my period and I took pregnancy test and I saw a faint pregnancy line. I'm just going to say that. Um, I don't know if it was a chemical pregnancy because they say, you know, if you have chemical pregnancy, like a lot of people get a positive, but then they just have their period like late. I don't really know how pregnant, um, chemical pregnancies work. I don't know really, you know, but, um, I don't remember, that was back in January, I don't remember how long, um, I was, because I remember the month prior, in December, um, I was, I did not, I was like two weeks late, if you guys remember my followers, <laughs> I was two weeks late, and, um, that's when I was like all talking about my period, and all the guys that watch me are getting grossed out by that, but I was like freaking out, I'm like, oh my god, am I pregnant, and stuff, so, um, my periods are doing a little weird number on me back then already, um, and I, I remember right after that too, I was late again, and I, I thought I'd seen a, a, a you know, a faint pregnancy line, and I don't, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, I might have, but I'm not sure if I did, because, um, like, it wasn't, you know, usually if you're, whoever's been pregnant before, you know, a good healthy pregnancy, the line will get darker, right, and, um, it will, you know, the yeah, it'll get darker, like, yes, you're pregnant, but it was faint, so, you know, I was just taking, honestly, a pregnancy test all the time to see if it gets darker, and it never did, so, I don't know, but I did, obviously, I did start my period, so, no, I, I guess I did not get pregnant, obviously, I'm not pregnant now, you know, like, I never got it confirmed, I just saw that, you know, the, the faint pregnancy test, my husband even seen it, um, we didn't know, you know, we were scared, and like, oh great, you know, it probably failed, obviously, because that's the only time we never, we did not use protection. I'm going to get a little bit of a detail here, but, um, yeah, so me and my husband never, like, ever since we, well, I don't know, I can't say ever since we got, we had Savannah, but usually what we do is, this is TMI, just like you guys know, but we know, we do foreplay, which means, you know, he pulls out a lot of the time, you know, like we, oh my god, this is so personal, but we you know we get in the mood, and then, so TMI, but he puts it in, and then, you know, then sometimes, though, if it's, you know, if he, sometimes he has to pull out, you know, because it's just, you know, too, too much excitement, basically, so yeah, um, that's, he, you know, like, there's never times where he, inside, you know, like, he always catches it prior, and so far, knock on wood, I haven't gotten pregnant, but that, that time, though, I told you guys in that video that he did, you know, he, he did not use the condom, so it was just that VCF stuff, 
And, um, so yeah, I don't know if it was, if it was a chemical pregnancy, then the stuff failed me. Maybe, I don't know if it actually, I don't think it affects the pregnancy. I don't know. Like, and I don't believe that, um, once you are pregnant, like if it fails, I doubt that's the reason why I would have lost the baby or the chemical. I don't really know. I didn't even want to mention the whole, you know, but I did see a pregnancy lot. I did see a second line, so I cannot explain it. Um, my personal opinion, I just, I don't know. My personal opinion is I wasn't obviously pregnant. I don't think I got pregnant. Um, but my advice is to always double up. Don't just count on that stuff. You know, if you want to be extra safe, of course, you know, as a female, we can only protect ourselves, you know, and we cannot count on the guy fully because what if you're... I'm married, so I trust my husband when he pulls out. I know, you know, he wouldn't try to get me pregnant, you know, and, and, you know what I mean? And I know he knows how to put a condom on, so I trust him, you know? I, I don't, we trust each other, if that makes sense. Um, but if you're, if you don't trust your partner or if you're new in a relationship and you don't know if he knows how to work a condom right or whatever the case, and if you're like me and you cannot be on birth control because it just messes you up too much, um, then definitely, it, even if you are in a marriage and if you just don't want a child, then definitely use this stuff, you know, but make sure he uses a condom or if you don't, you know, if you just want to take a chance and if you don't mind getting pregnant, then this is a good thing for you too. Um, it just depends what's your situation, you know, every situation is different, but I really felt that I had an obligation to update you guys. I know this video is a little bit weird because I talk about kind of personal stuff, but th this is a sex product, you know, and, um. And just know, like, even if you guys are pulling out, I'm very on edge with the whole pulling out method. Because even though I trust my husband, things could happen. Now, I don't know if, you know, pre-cum, pre-ejaculation, whatever, you know, this the wet stuff before he, you know, since we do do foreplay, you know what I mean? I don't know if that can get me pregnant. Um, I don't know. Also, this has nothing to do with anything, like, really to this top, like, to the the uh, VCF, that's what it's called, VCF, whatever, um, but, oh my god, this is too personal, but do you guys know if hot water, um, could affect, um, semen, you know, like, because uh, we go in the hot tub a lot, and my husband wants to know, like, could that affect his reproduction, you know, you know what I mean, like, what if we're in the hot tub, and then, like, we get out, and then we have intercourse, like, you think, because of the hot, heat does that make sperm more alive or does it kill him does it even matter do you guys know that'd be awesome you know or <laughs> whatever because uh yeah um i'm hoping i'm not pregnant now because you know the pull out method we use that all the time it seems and yeah so whenever we do that a lot because sometimes you know we we try our best to use protection we try our best to put condoms on but sometimes things just happen too fast and we get too caught up but he always makes sure he pulls out so yeah so TMI but um basically I'm not really the person to be asking the question to I did not get no morning after pill though um, a lot of people asked if I did I did not um I you know like I said I, I don't know if I had a chemical pregnancy I was late on my period so I don't know I, I don't remember how late I would like to say one to two weeks late. I'm not sure. I'm thinking more like one. Oh, and I'm not. I'm never late like that on my period. But I was having a weird time, I guess, because December the month prior, I had a, I had my um, period late as well. But I did not see any. I don't believe I seen any positive. I just remember seeing that like I was so scared, because I was so sure that I was pregnant because I saw that line. I I might have logged it. I'm not sure. I do a lot of videos and I never post, so I don't know. Um, but I remember, didn't I? Didn't really want to speak about it because I didn't know. You know, I did not know if I was or not. And I, I really am a little bit skeptical if even mentioning this because I don't want you guys to get scared that the product doesn't work. But you guys really need to know. Like I thought, I you know, I don't know how that works. You know, a pregnant, a chemical pregnancy. I think. I. Don't, you know what I mean? Like, it, it just happens. 
something wasn't good in that pregnancy if I did have a chemical pregnancy. You know, obviously if I got pregnant, it was the, it was the defect of that not working right. I'm just going to say it because that was the only time that we, that he did that. And, um, you know, and that's the only time I ever saw a chemical pregnancy test. So, you know, um, yeah, so I, I don't know. Um, if, 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 if I was indeed pregnant, if that was a chemical pregnancy test, you know, if I, yes, if that was a pregnancy, um, a chemical pregnancy, then, you know, that, that failed, and then if it wouldn't have been a chemical pregnancy, then, you know, I would have, I would have been really pregnant by now, so, you know, um, I'm sure that had nothing, I'm sure the product itself had nothing to do with the pregnant, the chemical pregnancy, I don't know, but I don't think it would. So yeah, chemical pregnancies I think are rather common, I believe. You know, like people say, you know, some people don't even realize that they had a chemical pregnancy because some women are, I, I'm just so regular on my period. Like I usually, I know when, I, I'm, when I'm supposed to start. Some women, they're not, you know, they're not, you know what I mean? They're not regular and they could be a week and that could be totally normal. But since I was a week, I tested and that's, I just knew something was weird, you know? And, um, like, I was, so, I remember, like, telling my friend, um, that, you know, because when I got the, when I got the freaking positive, you know, the, the faint, what it was really faint, so, but I saw, it was, my husband seen it and everything, and, and I told my friend, I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, I'm pregnant, I remember Savannah was only, like, 14 months old, I think, 15, 14 months old, I don't remember, it was in January, and I remember, um, like, telling my friend, like, oh, my God, I have another baby. And uh, I remember just, oh, I don't know. I felt kind of, I, I, I just felt like I was pregnant, too. So I don't know what happened with that. I really hope, I honestly hope it wasn't a pregnancy because then I have another angel in heaven. So I don't even want to, you know, I, I don't even like saying it without knowing for sure. You know, like, because I didn't go to the doctor or anything. I didn't get no blood ran on me. You know, I didn't. So I have no idea it's really just a mystery to me, so, yeah, um, like I said, you know, it, I don't know if it works, I won't be trying it again, because, unless I'm ready for a baby, I'll tell you that, because, um, well, I mean, sex, okay, like, don't, don't get me wrong, like, I'm sorry this video is so rambly, too, whenever you have sex, this is for anyone watching this, okay, but whenever you have sex, you're, you're taking a big chance that, you know, Sex equals a baby in most cases, you know, of course, not every time, but, um, if you don't want a baby, don't have sex, like, to younger girls or anyone, really, if you don't, if you truly don't want a baby, like, if you're terrified to have a baby, if your, your, if your life's just not ready for a baby, then don't, unless you're eight, you know, and not if you're, if you're not able to stand up to the baby, you know, stand up to the baby, you know, like, own up to it, um, you know, because I personally... No offense to anyone that has. I'm not for abortions. Um, I'm way more for adoptions. And, I, you know, I was even telling my husband, you know, like, this might sound horrible. And then I was just like, so off topic. So if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Like, if you're new and you're just watching this because you want to know about it, um, about the product. But, yeah, I'm sorry. But I was telling my husband that um, if we ever did get pregnant and if, you know, if our life, what you know, if we just did not really... Not that we don't want, but I would love, um, cause I, I watch a lot of girls on here that are having infertility issues and I would love, even if it was my actual baby, um, to give my baby to someone that has been dying for a baby forever. Like I honestly, cause I really would like to be a surrogate, but I don't know how that is like with medications. Cause you have to basically shut your own reproductions down in order to get, you know, to allow, you know, getting pregnant with someone else's child, you know, another egg and then in someone else's sperm, you know, other than your husband, but basically the egg, you know, so that'd be a lot to put my body through to, to be a surrogate. Um, and I have a lot of health issues, so it would be just easier to actually grow my own child, me and my husband's baby and give it to a, a, a couple. But I just don't know if I have that in me though. Um, I'm actually pretty passionate about the idea, but it would be my baby, and then I would see it when it's born, then I would, I don't know, you know, once you're pregnant with it and stuff, but I, there's just some women I watch on here, I would just, I would love to do that for them, I honestly would, 
Um, and I don't know if, if they want my baby, you know, because a lot of people want to do, to have their own, you know, if it means, you know, you know, having a surrogate carry their, their own baby though, you know, like not my baby. So yeah, um, like, you know, like, cause there could be a chance I'm pregnant now. So, you know, I was telling my husband about it, but he, I don't think he'd ever be okay with that. Cause like our child, he's like, that wouldn't be fair to the baby. Like, what would the baby think? It, you know, like we have three and then we just give that one up, but it wouldn't be like that. I wouldn't give my baby up because I don't want it. Nothing to do with the baby. Cause I know we can, <laughs> I know I, you know, I already have three and I would love another one because I'm, I'm, I just love babies. I love being a mom. Um, but it's just the thought of making that person's dream come true. Um, and I don't, I hope that my, my child wouldn't think of me as a horrible person, but I know I would be gain, giving that child a wonderful mom as well. So I don't feel like the child would lose out. It would be a couple that has been dying to have a baby forever that would be like the goal. Um, I don't know. This is so rambly, but that's just how I feel. Um, I call me crazy, but I'm just a very giving person. I know that's like extremely giving, but that's just how I feel. Um, I just really, really want to help people I watch out. I just have a heart for everybody and I just, you know, wish, and that would be the easiest way, but you know, my husband has to be in for that. He has to be okay with that. And this might even sound a little weird, but I w another thing is, um, I'm very open to this idea, like, because obviously I can get pregnant by some other man, not sexually, but, you know, semination, so maybe, um, you know, a couple would want me to get, you know, maybe she would want me to get pregnant, you know, with her husband's sperm instead of my husband, so it would be part of him, and I don't know how she would feel, but I would just, it, it would just be too much for my body through shutting me down, I don't know how much of a task that is and plus it would be way cheaper just for me to have a baby you know like go through my insurance and all that bam you know here's the baby you know <laughs> keep it sh maybe on the down low the whole time then once you know i have it have the paper i don't know how that all works but you know hey it's your baby now i don't know i think that would be a lot easier though for me since it's not my husband's baby i would just aunt you know i would just think of it as the couple's baby Call me weird. Anyways, I'm rambling on. I should probably edit this out. Um, sorry if you hear that. It's my computer screensaver. It always does this whenever I'm making a video. But yeah, I should um, stop this video. So you guys might be seeing this edited out. Because um, I don't really think the people that want an update on the VCF or whatever want to hear all this. But whatever. Maybe I'll just upload it once. At, oh, God. That whole gr screensaver is really pissing me off. But maybe I will upload this all all in one video, but yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.